Now, I want to talk about dementia care, a subject that isn't just close to my heart, it breaks my heart. How can we call ourselves a compassionate nation when this government is forcing sick, frightened, vulnerable people to sell their homes and spend their life savings on care that should be free, but isn't? If dementia sufferers had cancer, treatment would be free. So why isn't it for a condition which shatters lives, loved ones and entire families? We either have a free healthcare system or we don't. You can't have one group getting something for free and the other being bankrupted and punished because they've been prudent. Three weeks ago, the British Medical Association wanted to fling open the doors of the NHS to foreigners from all over the world. So why are pensioners here, who, unlike those health tourists, have paid into the system, getting screwed by a government that increasingly neglects and persecutes the elderly? Theresa May promised to fix this hideous injustice two years ago, but did nothing. Boris has promised he will, and he must, because doing nothing isn't just cruel and uncaring, it's immoral. Well, in principle, you've got to be right, Carol. Um, but let's, let, let's... We want to know how much that's going to cost us as a society. Because so far, we've, today, we've uh, spent a lot more money on the Royal Navy, mm. which you supported. Now you're going to spend a lot more money on, on uh, care. Uh, I mean, uh, my mother died with dementia and it was a horrible period of all our lives. And it was a terrible five years she spent in our home. And I used, to, I used to talk to people around the home and said, how many people here are paying, because we were paying, and they were saying, it's about 50-50. But, I mean, for a lot of people, I mean, it is incredibly difficult. Mm. But, I, but did... I don't... But, but, but there is a cost to all this stuff. Yeah, I know there And is. therefore, if we want to say, OK, we'll, we'll increase taxation in this country to pay for this and this and this, I'm all in favour. Mm. I mean, I know you, you'll immediately try to say it can all be paid for by foreign aid and things, but it can't. No, you I'm see, not the, saying that. No, we're talking about significant... But you're right, if, that, if, if that's what a health service is, i.e. it's free at the point of delivery, whatever your problem, then that has to be right. But it does cost. But I, yeah, I know, but I think we have a cultural problem with our attitude to the elderly currently. I, I, I think it's what I said in the intro, you know, we are neglecting them, we are persecuting them, the most vulnerable section of our society. And, and in making them sell their homes, you're literally taking homes away from people who are literally losing their minds. And the one thing about dementia is, and you will know this, is that the, the, the last things people forget are things that happened a long time ago. Homes are reminiscent of all that. To make someone sell that to pay for the care. And, and, and the well, principle, the bottom line, is you either have a free healthcare system or you don't. Well, you can't make some pay. Oh, look, as, as someone who did, I did, we did sell my mother's home to help uh, fund, fund her but, care, and I don't see it personally. Didn't see anything fair, wrong with that. You wouldn't even, uh, w you know. To be fair, we know you're quite a wealthy guy. Y even if you hadn't had to sell her home, you would have been. Your mum would have been okay. But there's lots yes, of there's other lots families of people who aren't who and only have that. And nothing I agree. Else. I mean, what is interesting about about how you pay for it, uh, Damien Green? produced a paper for the Centre for Policy Studies. And he, they came up with a series of options of how you could pay for it. They, they included ask over 50s to pay more national insurance contributions, yeah. tax the winter fuel allowance, yeah. homeowners yeah. make voluntary contributions through downsizing or releasing equity, Wealthy pensioners pay a one-off charge of 30000 when they turn 65. The oh, problem with that is I don't know how you define but, what a but wealthy pensioner is. But the principle is wrong, because if you're giving one section of society care for this free, you can't then charge the other because, because they've been prudent enough to buy a house or, or save a bit of money. Yeah, but they've ended up with a, often they've ended up with a house, people have ended up with houses, particularly in the South, that are worth a lot of money. Well, they didn't pay anything like that. But I think, it. I mean, first of all... Uh, the, we, we do need the context that social care has been really massively cut, um, cut by a third, yep. I think, since 2010. That's part of the austerity cuts, which I think were ideological and unnecessary. I agree with you, Carol. I think, you know, people at the end of their lives, um, you know, are, 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 you know, some of the most vulnerable in our society yeah. and we need to take better care of them. And I think social care... It does work, but if you've, if you've had to deal with it, it's very, very complicated, even though it is good. But to get it to kick in also needs quite a bit of work. And I think this is... Your, for me, you're making a case for having a, a national social care service. I don't think it should be means-tested. I think we yeah. should all contribute. It should be free at the point yeah. of use. I also think it should probably be centralised, because having it um, work on a sort of local basis 
um, makes it potentially a bit of a national lottery, which I don't think is fair either. So I would say centralise it. Um, and also, if we're going to raise um, national insurance for it, that well, should happen for everyone and not just the over 50s. I wonder if a net away is... And I think there's a pr government proposal that Matt Hancock was looking at prior to a new Prime Minister, whether it will he stayed in post as health and social care secretary, we see... But we will all, if you make a certain amount of money, make a monthly payment, much as we are encouraged yeah. to do to a pension. So let's, for the purpose of debate, call it the social care fund. And each mm. month, each so as well as our it's NI... It's an insurance system. It's an it? insurance yes. system. Yeah. And I believe it's modelled on something, but don't quote me, I think in Germany. Germany but the, yeah. Is it the... OK. Mm -hmm. well, and it seems to work moderately well. That would seem, just as we pay into NI, uh, and national insurance, NI, or we pay... Why can't we have a social care fund? You know, it, I it, think we should, but I think it should be something that should be put to the people in a general election as part of a manifesto programme. I think it's a very yes, good not. idea. I think it's a very good idea. Just a, a few key statistics. Okay. A third of people have to sell their homes yeah. to pay for their care. They have all uh, The cost of social care to the state is £15 billion over two years. Um, fees in private care homes have doubled mm. over the past ten years. And a million people by 2025 are going to be suffering from... Dementia, and mainly another, Alzheimer's. And, so yeah, another, this yeah. is a crisis, and, and the nettle has to be grown. It was, you know, during the last election, it was the thing that killed Theresa May's yes. Do you mean, chances. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Nothing. No, but you no I think the things green paper, We still haven't seen it, by yeah. the way. Mm. On True. Social care. If it was any other condition, this is the most telling. Whether it was. Mm cancer, whatever else, heart disease, we would treat these okay. folk. It is quite... quite know, which means I must just say what we have from the government. Okay. So, the Department of Health and Social Care says everyone affected by dementia deserves the best possible care and support. We expect councils to offer a meaningful choice of suitable high-quality services that meet people's needs. We have given local authorities access of up to £3.9 billion, more dedicated funding for adult social care this year, and we will set out our plans to reform the social care system at the earliest opportunity to ensure it is sustainable for the future. Let's just, let's just look at the human side of what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Let's look at Yutashi Desai. Her husband has dementia. Let's just, let's just hear what she has to say about life for her and him. His life counts, and he's not a passenger. You know, he's still my co-pilot in my, in my plane um, with this condition. But I think, unfortunately, people don't always see it like that. So it makes it very challenging because one thing I want to really kind of hone in on is, before my husband had this condition, he was a father, a husband, a worker, a friend. And when you get FTD, all the bubbles that you have in your life start bursting. That, I mean, that makes me weep. Yeah. And, and that's what we're talking about. And I think what I, what I tried to say before is th there is a cultural problem now in this country with old people. It's we treat them like they don't matter. We treat the elderly like they're a nuisance. No, you're assuming... And we have to stop that. We, we do You're it. assuming we treat all the elderly like we treat people who've got dementia. Care. It's Look not true. social care. It's not true. Social care, I mean, you're right, it's a real problem. You talk to anyone in local government and they'll tell you they're running out of cash. Well, yeah, because it's partly because they've been cut by a third yes. since 2010. They, they Imagine were, the impact of they that. They were an it's easy enormous. cut for the Treasury, weren't they? You just kept cutting yeah. them. 895 and... people a day are turned away for state care, elderly people, and, and most of them have dementia. That is shocking mm. in a country that fancies itself as, as, as a compassionate but, civilized But then we country. have to accept it's going to cost, yes. and we no. should pay that yeah. cost. Yes, or, or, or we, you, we all agree at... that we should increase or, taxes well, then. Or, 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 yes. No, Which... because you look at how money is currently spent, and I've just saved you £60 billion pounds by stopping a railway line. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. All right. Or the £14 billion in aid. That's a capital cost. That's not. That's a revenue well, cost. It's Let's just revenue. stop at the point where we all think we need to all pay yes. a bit more for this, because we have an agreement for a change. <laughs>